Harry, what was that you just said? We're gonna die! <laughs> and if we don't, we're gonna freeze! You're a Why do I to agree to the dumb sh that you wanna do? Because obvious, obviously you're not very smart. <laughs> <laughs> Take your camera because I'll keep my two. Oh, thank you, God. Oh, 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 oh. oh you're such a liar. Uh -huh. Oh, this is nice. Guy. Oh, yeah. We got sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows, everything. It's beautiful. Avery's abandoned ship. Said we're going to go to a buddy's place. Check out some cool cars. Look at that. I'm gonna go to Hope. I'm gonna go to the Blue Moose and grab a four shot Americano. I'm gonna rock and roll. This car is running like a top. Special shout out to my buddy Ed Preston, who talked me into taking this car as part of a deal on some cars. Quite the bag you got here. Hey guys, Mike here from Russ Brothers. We just stopped by at a buddy's place of mine. He's been sending me pictures of his cool projects. This is Daryl and your company, your shop's called? Loose Change Customs. So if you come here, by the time you're done, there's no loose change, there's no money, there's nothing left. Show us what you got going on here, Daryl. What's up? My 34, and this is my fat tire car I'm building right now. You sent me pictures of this when it was all together with big fat tires. It'll be together by June 1st. <laughs> is that the time? Oh, no, yeah. Jericho Ooh. Road Race. I built all this shifter linkage myself to relocate the shifter because it was over here and it was into my leg. So I made it up there, old bell crank. And you see with a vertical gate how basically it's in first, yeah. second, third, fourth, fifth. And it just goes through like Holy that. How many hours of fab to do that? Uh, a lot of brain, a lot of brainstorming. See, I could never do it because there's no brains left. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you running? Uh, it's a Stroker LS, it's a 408. Uh, just made these headers up myself with uh, the cone inside to help uh, sell. it scavenges as yeah, it yeah. goes. So, and what's that putting out with a um, nice injection system? Yeah, right it's, right? I, I was trying to do like a, um, street version of the old uh, dirt cars and everything. That's what I was trying to get into. Um, 
I'm hoping 550, 600 horse easy, I mean, naturally aspirated. How much more do you need on the street? All these guys pushing 1,000 horse, 1,200 yeah. horse. 50. We got speed limits, right? Yeah. But on back roads, you, whatever. Yeah, I know, but still, I mean, like my my big block shell puts out 510 right. and 580. Right. And I can do 80, 90 miles an hour. Well, I just did for 18 days, 80, 90 miles an hour. Get her up to 120, how fast you want to go on a freeway with cops. Well, exactly, because you don't have control of what everything else is around you. There's a quick picture okay. of what the car looks like. Hang on. Yes, because that's a picture you actually sent me. And then yeah. I come here expecting to see it. And this is all I get. <laughs> it's like it, it, like it lost some weight. Yeah. Willwood brakes. Oh, yeah. I got. It's actually a full floating nine inch I have for it. It's okay. Like that's going down. back. So so, so did you do all of the all the frame too? I'd, I'd like to take credit. You know, somebody else did that. I changed a few things. I went with a sliding wishbone. Yep. So it's four link. And no matter what happens, this will slide in and out. So it doesn't bind. Yep. It keeps the rear end perfectly centered. And I did it on top, but still having clearance issues. So being a small car, it takes a lot to get well, everything packed well, into it. I mean, the frame, I mean, what, what kind of kind of wheelbase is this thing? Uh, Pushing yeah, about 100, 110? On 112, I think this 112. one 112. Well, isn't it like a Chevelle 112 or something? It could be. Man, I'm, I'm yeah, just... Yeah, because they're like yep. 108, 112, somewhere in there, yeah. Okay, so what's the advantages of running the Jericho? Okay, so it's not just because you had one. Um, well, I have two, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> got a couple steps. This one, this one is a road race version, and so it's got heavier bearings, gears. The nice thing is, this is what's also called a crash box. There's no synchros in it, so once you let the clutch out in first gear, you just drive it like you stole it. So you just bang, 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 yeah. bang, like now, me. Like you'll see here, like putting it in gear. Uh, let's get it back up first. So it's in gear, and you see the difference in how much there. One tooth is missing. Oh, okay. You take every second tooth so, out so you can get it do, into that next gear. So do you, do you even have to, do, do, to like push the clutch in or you just bang it? No. Once you let the clutch out, that's, that's it. it. Just bang, bang. Oh, so that's yeah. why they use them in racing for the time. Yeah. It's, uh, you actually, if you shift it right, the car will actually lurch as you're going. There's no, there's no delay in it. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, so you're not pushing in the clutch. Yeah, and you're not you're slipping changing the clutch. gears and letting the clutch back out. You just, None of that. once you started, it's bam. Yeah. Okay. See, I know, I learned something. Yeah. They're really Thanks cool. Thanks for educating me on yeah, that. Yeah. And this that's is cool. actually, this is a double disc clutch system. So the yep. flywheel sitting on there now. So then this goes on, then your mid, medium, mid plate, your other uh, disc goes in, locks into that, and then your pressure plate. That looks expensive. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, we don't need to, I can just tell, so. The nice, thing, the nice thing is, you got double the surface area, so yep. you have a lighter pedal. Lighter pedal and, and twice the engagement. Exactly. Right, you got yep. surface square inches, yep. gives you engagement. Exactly. Very cool. So, and then I did this, and I made the grill up myself the way I'm doing it. This, this is like 34, right? That's this is a 34 style. Yeah. So I did an electric water pump here. So I just got two dash tens that go up to this water manifold. And that's, and that's it. That's okay. All you're gonna see. And then a dash 20 off to here, yep. up to here, and that's it. I got an alternator down here. I'm running electric power steering pump. Okay, I've electric. seen those. I mean, did you, have you have you like have you ever ever driven one? I mean, I just yeah. took the power steering pump yeah. off my big block Chevelle because I got tired of sneezing and twitching into the yeah, other lane. Yeah. No, um, I've got one on my wife's truck. My wife's got a 2000 Silverado twin, yep. twin turbo LS and uh, I put a uh, Volvo in that one. A Volvo pump. It's so mm. nice because it's one last pulley. It's so much clean. I love a motor when it's clean. Nothing well, that's like mine thing. It's got a yeah. water pump and an alternator belt. This, this, is a that's the pump. this is a Jeep power steering pump, a new one. So it puts out the highest pressure and volume and uh and it's electric it's electric so you don't so have there's to... no belts no pulleys no yeah. keep it simple stupid and this is a used ac unit electric off a hyundai of all things so you're gonna have ac uh, oh yeah oh you see i just opened the windows <laughs> i'm old scum and i'm lazy yeah. i'm lazy and i open the windows yeah so, so what i'll do is i'll have uh the power steering one will be on this side yep. my ac on that so my lines run up for the rack and then the exhaust will be here and just turn out with heat deflectors. So what's June 15th? There's a car June, show? June 1st. June 1st? What's, what's that date? Obviously it's cast in stone. It's going to be done by June 1st. I can't tell you. It's not supposed to be public. No, you're going oh, to okay. be there. Oh, I might be there. I might be there. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. So, I, sent, I sent him a picture of the car. Yeah. And I said, hey, if I get this done in time, can I get an invite? Half hour later, he sent me a text back going, F yeah. I know. Actually, uh, we, we were just there. He's working on a... Okay, well, yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's yeah. later. Yeah, 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 later. Yeah, cool. What else are you working on? Or is, uh, that, is that it for now? Well, this is cool. the body? 
left the body that goes on it. Is it steel or glass? Uh, I'm trying to find the steel, so I'm running the glass for this year. That's my rear end housing. Oh yeah. It's a full floating, eh? So it's like a one ton. You got double, yep. Yep. wide bearings, yep. less flex. Yeah. Well, it looks pretty skookum. You, you know my Camaro. Yeah, yeah, the blue. Yeah. Jesus, what happened to your fender? Uh, you gotta get bigger tires on them, right? So, oh, so you had to flare the living bejesus out of it. A little bit. A little bit, and like about five inches. Plus 12 inch wide tires all the way around. It's Willwoods all the way around. Nine inch in the back. 496 solid roller, about 650 horse with a T56. So six speed double. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a, yeah. Con Connor's got, yeah. got the Magnum in his. I forget who gave him the shift a bit. Same thing, straight well, sequential. You probably got that from Brent from years, years ago. No. Oh, yeah. So he went Some, with this crunch. Yeah, yeah. They're like bang, yeah. bang, bang, yeah. bang, 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 bang. Like you, you know the only problem that sucks with that? Think about being on a dirt bike. You got to go da, 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 to yeah, get down. Yeah. Meanwhile, I can pull it out of fourth and go right into the first. first yeah. Same with that, even that vertical gate yeah. on the 34. I can pull it out and go right up into first. Yeah. Again, so. My, I mean, like I said, he, the thing handles 850 horse, so yeah. it's, it's pretty nasty training. Yeah. Yep. So what do you do with this? Just on the street? This is my summertime daily driver. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, well, the price of gas just went up. What is this thing? Yeah, about eight. It's same as mine. Six. Hey, hang on. I, uh. I ended up with this on one of your shows at the beginning. I kind of went like that as you were filming, or they were filming. I came in, that was a swap meet. Okay, yeah. Used. And uh, I went up to Kamloops, spent the night, and then we, a uh, buddy of mine, he had a 55 GMC pickup with a mild small block and a 700R. Yeah. Um, we filled up in the Sunday morning Penticton. We followed each other all the way down to Hope. He pumped in 49 liters, I pumped in 39. <laughs> but you were running two overdrives. I know. Yeah, okay, okay, I just did Okay, idea. so on yeah. the Coke, unofficially, I may or may not have hit around 180 a few times. Yeah, miles or miles of Okay, kilometers. okay. So, uh, <laughs> and I still average that whole weekend 15 miles to the gallon. How do you average 15 miles to the gallon with a big block? Well, two 600 double pumpers, too. Cross round. So how do you average 15? Because I know my 502 don't average 15. Oh, you better take it back and complain to that uh, <laughs> Lauren guy. Yeah, yeah, Lauren. <laughs> yeah, that Lauren actually. I almost got him fired. We were we were at the at the at, at the Vancouver car show. Oh yeah. And I stopped. I saw that you got him yeah. hitting his shoulder. <laughs> yeah, well, I was in his shoulder, and then his boss there there was Peter. And, we were trying to sneak him out, and so we did a 30 second promo, and then I looked at Peter and said, Pete. Why don't you fuck off so we can get, take Lauren for dinner? So, well, this is cool. So, what I'm assuming you're gonna paint it before summer's uh, over? Oh, it's been not. like that for years. I haven't had a hood on this in 10 yeah. years. And well, why would you want to have a hood? Oh, exactly. Now, when you're no. displaying the goods, what's that intake? Uh, that, believe it or not, it's an old Offenhauser from the 70s. And of all places, I found it. Uh, my buddy, uh, Patty Reynolds in Lillouette. Oh, uh, road runner. Yeah, no road he doing with well, I shit? text some friends up there. I go, hey man, I'm, I'm looking for a cross ramp for Big Block. Oh, Patty's got one. No, no, no. I want one for Big Block. Oh yeah. <laughs> Patty sends me a picture. <laughs> the f did you get? It was on a motor and <laughs> bought, and the motor went bad. And he says, <laughs> well, borrow it. So he strapped it on his flat deck with a lumber belt and showed up at uh, Graffiti Days. Yeah. Gave it to me and I uh, actually, I actually just got got rid of all of my Dodge Emmy sh stuff. I had one of those cross rounds. You know about this oh, tall, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. a straight full race. I mean, you know the ones I love are those ones of big block Dodge where they were like a over here. Yeah, 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 like sixty four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. right, like a Max Wedge, yeah, I think. Yeah, four thirteens. Yeah, I the best one I ever saw. The guy had a B and M supercharger and a carb on each one, and I thought that was cool. That's quite the f***ing steering. Oh, job. it's a three. rack. I got a rack in this. I'm just going like, yeah. okay, like, wow, that's quite some angle to the dangle. Oh, there, there's no binding. Yep. Well, you got, you got the good joints. Oh, yeah. That's right. Now they're going to have good joints. But, <laughs> uh, but, yeah, but even this, uh, like it's a Herb Adams sway bar. It's got the big heim joints yeah. on the end. Yeah, there. yeah. So this thing actually corners pretty good, handles good. Go for ride? No, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm sticking with the Firefly today, okay? Bet you don't even have a plate on it. I do. Oh, yeah, it's okay. I'm feeling lucky. <laughs> this, this, is, this is cool. You don't see those often. Any of the old cable drive tax? Tax? Yeah. I actually, when I gave away all of my Hemi stuff, I had an original one. I gave it to the guy off a of 64 Hemi, but That's whatever. Cool. He did some, uh, yeah. he, he's bringing back to life a 70 Coronet RT we had that was. I, I was looking for, a buddy of mine bought a 64 uh, 440 car, brand new in 64. Yeah. And it was supposed to come up with a 413 or 426 max wedge, 
They delayed delivery by uh, six weeks. He tried to get out of it. It showed up with a super stock 12 and a half to one Hemi, one of 55 and known to be made and uh, only two that came to Canada. So he still has it? Oh, no, I looked for it. I looked, I got uh, the pen. I searched all yeah. over, can't find it. Yeah, well, it's probably wrapped around the well, tree that's, somewhere. That's the problem. I mean, really? Man. So he had to settle for 12 and a half. Well, he took, <laughs> what he did is he took the motor out yep. and he built a funny car. Yep. He's, he broke NHRA records in 1969, July 13th at Mission, and he hit like 150 miles an hour at 950 seconds, yep. roughly. And then, uh, I can't remember what happened to the motor after that time, but anyhow, the car and the motor were separated. Yep. I ended up, I just bought a 60, 69 Dart that's cloned as a, as a super stock, and it yeah. come, comes with an R block pushing it's doing nine nine point something seconds right now, and it came with a complete thirteen to one Hemi. So has it got like the A one hundred seats in the yeah, front? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the guy would he raced the car for twenty five years. Yeah. Then he ran out of time. He right. had the Hemi all built to go in it, and he had to move from Edmonton to a condo in Vancouver. Uh, and all his buddies were going to buy the car, and yeah. finally, one of my friends that knows him says, "Mike, yeah, car, trailer, Hemi." Here's the price, so I sent him the money. Yeah. I still haven't seen the seen the car, but my buddy's gonna bring it down. I saw pictures of yeah. with the wheels four feet off the air. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, this is cool too. So, are you gonna be coming up to our swap meet? Um, demo. There's demolition when, derby uh, and swap meet. When is that one? Divino. Well, that's in Father's May. Day. Yeah. Uh, Father's Day. I'm at Qualcomm Beach. Okay. What, what, what happens there? Qualcomm Beach is a Father's Day event there. Last year yep. we went, it was awesome. Friday night, big hour long uh, tour through town and it was really cool. Really? Yeah, poker run was just awesome. Okay. Um, well, right on, well, like uh, I said, I'm, I'm, I'm be, committed, but. I'm gonna be, I don't know if you'll be there, uh, I'll be in a little wet, uh, June 22nd. I think that's when that uh, drag at BC is gonna be in little wet. When's the May days? May days, well, in I, May. I, 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 <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like, uh, uh, do you know Dustin and the boys there from Galmoops? I yeah, I met yeah, them yeah, last maybe, because I know we're supposed yeah. to be doing something at May Days there okay, with them. But they, uh, the one that was taking place in, uh, I think that's Cash Creek is made. No, 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 it's Merritt. Drag it is like Cash Creek, oh. Lillooet, Williams Lake, Prince George, yeah. back to Lillooet or something like that. Yeah, yeah, because I think that Drag it that uh, Boggs putting on. I haven't even heard about it. I'm so out of the loop, man. I just work. Okay, well, yeah, I'm gonna just. Thanks for your shop too. Hey, no problem. Shut this Anytime. Stuff off. Okay.